Hey everybody, welcome to my blog. Now I want to talk today about tapping and how you can get some really better use out of the technique that you're using already because I expect most of you are already tapping a little bit for certain things or tapping occasionally. And I want to tell you that the best use you'll ever get out of it is to tap every day. And I know you're going, oh, I don't really want to do that. Well, me either. I don't want to tap every day. I don't always remember to tap every day. Um, but, oh, a friend of mine, Jean Montrostelli, an EFT practitioner and kind of a buddy, he has a new thing where he you subscribe to it and it sends you a text with a little reminder to tap. And I really like it. And then he has lots and lots of audios. He doesn't work in video, but it'll have one of his audios attached to it if you want to tap with that or you can just tap on your own but it's a good reminder and I am enormously enjoying this um, so it might be something I do in the future I don't know anyway right now I know that it works for me so I want you to tap more consistently now if you're not sure what you're gonna talk about when you tap make a sit down get quiet and make a list of the things that are bothering you or your aches and pains because physical pain is a map. And you can go back in, use my subscription video, and really get a look at what's going on underneath there and make yourself some notes. And that way it'll get you tapping. Now, the other thing that will help you more is to tap for longer periods of time like 20 to 30 minutes at a shot. Some people say, oh, you've got to do a solid hour of tapping. Well, I get bored. I can't do it that long. Unless I'm working one-on-one -on -one with a client and a lot of what we're doing is not going to necessarily be just tapping, I think that's too long. I run out of stuff to say. Yeah, me. Wow. <laughs> but if I'm getting bored with it, I think most people are going to get bored with it at that at that point so you know but if you can manage to hang in there for 10 to 15 20 30 minutes just staying with your issue and tapping on what comes up and tap around talk about it and then get quiet and check back in with yourself because you've got a good internal guidance system in the form of your emotions you're gonna know whether you're getting to your to the root of your your problem or not and just keep tapping as you work through an issue, lots of different aspects of that problem may present themselves. And that's one of the benefits of tapping that you may not be aware of, is as you do this work, the things that are really buried in there are going to start coming to the surface. So it's really useful. Now the other thing that I, I want you to not miss out, because there is this great benefit that you're missing half of tapping if you don't actually put some good stuff back in at the end. If all you're doing is releasing and releasing and releasing, that creates a type of energetic space inside us. When we're saying, uh, tapping and saying, I choose to let go of this, whatever now. I'm letting go of it now. It's safe to let it go. It feels good to let it go. Okay, that's great. But think of what you would prefer to have there instead. Would I prefer to have love there? Would I prefer to have peace and calm? Would I prefer to have more compassion for myself or someone else? And I want you to go back in and tap around and say, and now I choose to be filled with, I allow myself to be filled with peace and calm. I give myself permission. And these are important words, I think. They're called choices. I choose, I allow, I give myself permission. And you want to use that both when you're in the letting go of stage and also again when you're in the putting back in good stuff. Because like I said, you're missing half of the benefits if you're not putting the good stuff back in. Now, I don't think you can do a round, you can't do tapping and just put good stuff in you've got to make some space for that first. So 
you can tap yourself a little bit into a better mood, but you're going to have to do a little bit of deeper work with it. Doesn't necessarily have to go on for that many minutes. You can make that work. So uh, we'll do a little tapping and let's just, let's see, let's tap on, I'm trying to think what I want you to tap on. Let's just, I'll just demonstrate it. Let's just do um, a stiff neck. That's not usually wanting to give in to someone else's opinion or not liking other opinions or thinking there's only one way to do things. And let's just do a little tapping here. And I'll show you how it looks based on what we just talked about. Well, what I just talked about. I've got this pain in my neck. Even though I've got this pain in my neck, I completely love and accept myself. Even though I've got this pain in my neck. Okay, now this is where we're identifying the problem. Our brains are just like a computer. So people will say, oh, I don't want to tap on that negative stuff. Yeah, you do. Because how else do you change a file in your computer? You can't just hit a button. You have to display the file. So that's what we're doing here. We are identifying the problem. I have this pain in my neck. All right. And then we're going to start here and just go to the top of the head and say, my neck really hurts. It's stiff and inflexible. And just keep identifying the problem. You can talk about how the pain feels. Is it on one side or the other of your neck? Really narrow it down. And then take a breath and stop. Now see what feelings and emotions you've got attached there. And you may feel anger. So you can go back in and say, I've got this anger and it's stuck in my neck. I choose to be okay anyway. It doesn't serve me to hold on to anger. And just keep tapping through the points and talking. It's important that you talk. You're addressing your own subconscious with this. Now when you get about here, and this is not an exact science, when you get about to here again, you can start letting it go. I give myself permission to let go of this anger. I give myself permission to let go of this pain in my neck. Uh, and so on and so forth. Now I'm changing hands while I do this. You can also tap both hands, both sides. Any of these work. It doesn't make any difference. Uh, it's just I'm changing hands today for some reason. So that's what you're going to do. Then you're going to do a round to put the good stuff back in. And just start at the top of the head and say, I allow my neck to be filled with flexibility and ease. It's safe for my neck to be flexible. It's safe for me to be flexible. I completely love and accept myself. Okay, so you kind of get the idea. So identify the problem, work with the problem, start releasing the problem, and then put something better in there, in its place. So that's about all for today. I'm getting ready to go. I'm going to be gone a whole week next week. I'm going to a healer's gathering in Arizona. So I continue, this is sort of continuing education for me. I'm going to learn some new stuff and I will be bringing it home to all of you. So I look forward to seeing you next time. Oh, don't forget, if you haven't subscribed to me on YouTube, you got to go do it. Because every time I produce a new video on there, you get a little notice. Everybody likes that. So I'll see you next time. Mwah.